Yes, there's sweeping changes to social distancing measures here at New South Wales Transport. There will be, commuters will be experiencing a lot of different changes here. So on new buses, there will be 12 people allowed on buses with two doors. There'll now be 35 people allowed on a Waratah train carriage and 45 people allowed on ferries. They'll be told where to stand from dots that will be placed on the ground. So you can imagine that's a severe reduction in the number of people we will be seeing on our public transport system here in New South Wales. Heard from the Transport Minister a little bit earlier in the day. Here's what he had to say about this reduction and here are the figures. 14% for buses, 24% for trains, 22% uh, for ferries. Um, so, you know, if you roughly do the, the, the maths, it's around the, the 550 to 600,000 mark of a total of 2.2 million people that we normally carry. So with the number of people who will be allowed on our transport system really being reduced, the Premier is encouraging people to now hit the roads. She says people should avoid driving between in peak hours from 10am to 2pm, but for many people that's simply not going to be a viable option, which will create a bit of a headache. She is offering parking, so additional parking in the CBD at Moore Park. In areas where people frequently commute to for work, such as Sydney Olympic Park, she'll also be offering some additional parking in those areas. But the number of people on public transport reducing and the number of cars on the road you can imagine this is going to create a big headache for commuters here in Sydney another headache will be how the government will be able to police the number of people on our transport systems here in New South Wales how will they be able to tell if there's just 12 people on a bus will it be up to the bus drivers and just policing it is going to be a whole nother issue the transport minister has assured us however he's thought this through and will be able to manage it here's what he had to say we do have the capacity, uh, obviously, to, to look at the numbers of people who are on train platforms and entering stations. And if we have to close a station for 15, 20 minutes, we've got that option. We don't want to see crowding and we don't want to pe see people getting sick. Ultimately, if people plan their trips and, and don't travel in the peaks, if, as we've asked people to do, uh, knowing that we have a lot of construction workers who do need to travel in these times, uh, a lot of essential service workers who need to travel in these times, we can make this work. So it's definitely going to be interesting to see how we'll be able to find this balance in our transport system here with the number of people on our public transport reducing and the number of cars on our roads going to go up quite drastically. Premier says it's all about keeping people safe. She doesn't want to see community transmission and people piling into buses in tight quarters, she says, will be a real risk to community transmission. It's something she's not willing to risk. But it will definitely be difficult, the commute here in Sydney for the next few weeks.